Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I've got this intense smoky eye and this really nude pink lip for you. Yeah, a bit of a retro look. So if you'd like to get this look, just keep watching. I've just got this um, tape here that I've warmed up on the back of my hand so it's not so sticky and I've just popped it on the corners of my eyes and this is because we're going to do such a dramatic look that we don't want black eyeshadow everywhere which <laughs> I have a tendency to do I can be really messy so I've already popped some of my Models Prefer eyeshadow primer all over my lid to get it all ready for the shadow it's going to be receiving so just put this all along your um, lid not too far up okay Do you know what I didn't do? Put my crease color in, but that doesn't matter. I can actually do that now. So as you can see, I've got all this space up here blank. And usually what I do is put in a crease color, but I just forgot. So I'll put it in now. I'm going to use this taupe color in the Lorac One palette, that one. And just get a bit of this on the blending brush. This is an Eco Tools brush. And pop that in your crease. And you're not going to go near that black shadow yet because... You're up in your crease, you don't need the black shadow, so just blend that up. This is just going to make life a whole lot easier when you get to be blending the black shadow. So, Alright, so now I'm going to get a smaller blending brush. This is a um, e.l.f. It says contour brush, and I'm going to start blending that black shadow, the black smouldering eye pencil in. Let's just get a bit of, I've got a few gaps here. Get that pencil again and just fill those gaps in. Okay, so you've done like a lot of blending of that black shadow and don't worry about all this. This is all covered up by the tape. All right, so now I'm gonna get some more of, um, actually a different, like a darker brown and it's this sable color. And I'm going to pop a bit of that and a bit of the mauve next to it and just darken up this crease a little bit. I'm looking at it and it just looks a bit, a bit sparse. So you, like I think a lot of the time with these looks you want like a graduation of colour. You can't just have, well you can, but <laughs> it's going to look interesting, having black and then white. Like it's, it's pretty dramatic. So I, I don't want that today. I want like a really gorgeous kind of, uh, graduation from like darkest to darker to lighter. Alright, so now I'm going to get a flat um, synthetic brush and I'm just going to wet it with some <clears throat> MAC Fix Plus. So you just get it, just wet it. Okay, and I'm going to pick up this garnet shade which is oh so stunning that one these shadows work amazing wet just amazing so watch this this is just going to go on our inner lid and we're going to blend it to about the middle can you see that it's like you're putting liquid gold on your eyelid I've got lots on my brush, so I'm going to put it on this side too. Be pretty careful with this because you don't want to just take away from all that hard work you just did with the black. So just know where you want to lay it down. Like for me, I know that I just want it on that inner third almost. And I mean, it's not a big deal if you muck up. It really isn't. But if you don't want to spend all that time doing it again, I would just be very careful how I lay it down. I'm so happy with the way this brush is applying. Note to self. Oh, by the way, did you notice that I didn't put any... Like, can you notice how uneven my skin looks? 
that's because I don't have any other foundation on. I'm actually starting with my eyes. And this is because this is a, such a black, smoky, smoldering look that I don't want, I want to be able to clean up any kind of fallout. And I don't want to have to be so careful putting on my eye makeup that I am, um, yeah, that I can't just be free and start blending everywhere. So now I'm going to get my black in the palette. So this um, black up here. And I'm going to really darken up that, that outer, outer V. Okay, I'm just going to pop some light color, which is just the cream in the palette. It's just a matte cream. And pop that on your highlight, um, your brow bone, I should say, to highlight. And also just for me, I find it great for covering up these little hairs that I haven't got to. Or if I have like a little discoloration there, I can just use some of that white or creamy shadow to cancel it out. Let's move on from all that eyeshadow. I'm going to get my Maybelline um, Eye Studio Fluid Line. I've got an Eco Tools angled brush. And I just dip this in, get quite a bit on my brush. And then I, I tend to wipe off some of the excess because it can just get everywhere. And I'm just going to do uh, a winged liner. And because I've got this tape on, it's just so much easier. nicely blended now I'm gonna do some concealing so I've got a mixture I've got the Mac pro Longwear concealer in the color NW25 just get a little bit on the back of your hand and use a clean finger make sure that's clean and I put this in a triangle under my eyes and on any of the little blemishes that are sticking out and get your Real Techniques um, setting brush I love this brush and blend that in going to set that all now with the Face of Australia loose powder just so it doesn't crease so get some of that on the same um, setting brush okay so I'm going to do my eyebrows now I've got the Australis um, eyebrow pencil in light brown and it's got a handy little brush on one side so just brush out your brows so because I've got such a dark, intense eye, I actually want to make like quite a nice, defined, dark brow. So I'll just put some of this on, but I've actually got another palette, which is a little palette. Um, it's got like wet wax and colors and everything, but I'm just going to use these two colors here, which is just a shadow, um, just to give it a bit more definition. Because like I said, this is such a dramatic eye. I want my brows to be impacting as well. Not to stand out or anything, but just to be defined. See how much more defined they look? Okay, so now I'm gonna get some Ardell Sculpting Brow Gel and just pop that over the top of them so they just 
stay in place and don't fly all over the place. So get um, a small-ish brush like this, little definer brush. This one's a Nutrimedics one. I'm going to use that sable color, that one. And I'm going to run this under my eyes. I'm going to get some of that um, garnet shade and just lay that with that wet brush. Pick up some of that garnet. Can you see that? Okay. <clears throat> I'm loving this. Alright, so now I'm going to... What am I going to do? Pop some uh, black essence eyeliner their long wearing liner into my lower lash line and this is just going to add a whole lot of intensity to the look. Can see how intense that makes it. All right now I'm going to add that mascara to the bottom lashes too. I'm going to get some of my Benefit Dallas uh, blush which I use as a contour has this awesome little brush in it right now I'm gonna get my sports girl bronzer my big fluffy brush and just warm up my face a little bit I've got one of these um, Kmart OXX brush it, uh, brushes, blushes, and I'm just going to get that um, on the same fluffy brush and just very lightly pop that on the apples of my cheeks. But I don't want this look to be about blush or cheeks, it's all about the eyes. I've got the, what have I got, the Maybelline Color Whisper in Lust for Blush. I'm just going to pop this all over my lips. And this is really quite, um, oh, what's the word, like fair on me. I think it doesn't look like this on a lot of people. Just to give it a bit more pinkness, I'm going to pop this Sports Girl lip gloss on. So it just pink, pinks it up a bit more. I didn't want my lips to be shiny though, so I'll just take a bit of that off. So that's it guys. That's it.